वेलकम फ्रेंड्स माई सेल्फ मोहिनी पाटिल लेक्चर इन के के पॉलिटेक्निक नर्सिंग एंड इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द फर्स्ट चैप्टर ऑफ डिप्लोमा इन कंप्यूटर इंजीनियरिंग और डिप्लोमा इन इंफॉर्मेशन टेक्नोलॉजी रिलेटेड टू द सब्जेक्ट सॉफ्टवेयर इंजीनियरिंग द चैप्टर डील्स विद सॉफ्टवेयर डेवलपमेंट प्रोसेस इन विच वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी वट आर द डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ सॉफ्टवेयर वट डू यू मीन बाई द सॉफ्टवेयर वट आर इट्स कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स and we are going to discuss the software development framework in today's session i will be discussing about what is software and what are the characteristics of software so what basically is a software a software is defined as the product that the software professionals build and then support over a long term of time it generally consists of three parts the first one is instructions instructions are nothing but computer programs which are executed and when they get executed they give you the results okay so whatever features functions and performance you expect that is given to you with the help of a program second one is a software consists of data structures whenever you are making use of a program you need to perform some operations you need some data for that operations so all this data need to be stored somewhere and for that we make use of data structure so generally a software makes use of some of the other data structure which enables the program to adequately store and manipulate the information and the third part is documentation documentation is the one which describes how the software is to be used and what the software is going to perform so it describes your operation and the use of the program so this is how you can describe what do you mean by a software now let us see the next part that is characteristics of software software is characterized by some features so that is what we are going to discuss starting with the first one which says that software is developed or engineered it is not manufactured in the classical sense which has quality problem so by default we are all aware about hardware right hardware or machinery which is manufactured for example if we look at the example of a car or a truck or a bus or a table or a chair all these things we can physically see and touch and they are manufactured but a software is something which we cannot see or touch it is something which gets installed on your computer or laptop and then you can make use of it right so software is said to be developed or it is said to be engineered it is not manufactured however since it's not manufactured it becomes a very big problem to define the quality of it like in case of hardware or physical things we can determine the quality very easily whereas that is not the case with the software second characteristic of software is it does not wear out but it deteriorates now what do you mean by this as you can see there are two curves which are shown on the screen the curve on the left hand side is the hardware curve whereas the curve on the right hand side is the software curve now in case of hardware you can see that initially when the hardware is being manufactured it may have some errors which are called as infant mortality so this curve goes on decreasing that is the failure rate goes on decreasing till the device or the thing gets manufactured once it is manufactured it is having a good quality and it can sustain that quality for some amount of time but as the time goes by it starts wear and tear and because of this wear and tear it again the increases the failure rate so this is the normal hardware curve which is related to wear out of the physical devices whereas software curve is not like that as you can see here initially the failure rate is high that is when the software is being developed the client as well as the developer is not very much clear about what is to be done so in the initial stages when the software is being developed it is going to have a lot of failure rate but with the uh, with time a time will come when both of them will agree on it and the software will be ready to use so for some amount of time it is okay but software is some entity which can be changed over time so as the market changes as the requirement of the client changes a change comes in as you can see over here so whenever a change comes in the failure rate increases because when you are making some changes in your software in one part it can affect the other parts also so introduction of a new 
feature into your software may introduce errors in some other parts of software and hence the failure rate increases. So with every new change coming in, you're going to have an increased failure rate. So this is the second characteristic of how the software works. Next one is that although the industry is moving towards component based construction, most of the software still continues to be custom built. Okay. Uh, what means by this is that in case of hardware industry, we have smaller, smaller parts which we can club up together, which can merge together and we can form a different entity. Whereas in software, nowadays it is possible, but when software was uh, introduced until mid 2000, uh, it was not possible or it was uh, not customizable. That is, we were not having plug and play components which we will just use in the software and it will be ready to use. So the software industry is slowly moving towards custom built components. That is the components will be ready, they will be reusable and you can just include them. So nowadays many of such um, things are going on in software industry and it has come a long way with custom development also. So you can find out like Bootstrap is one of the best examples where you have a lot of things ready and if you want to build your website you can just uh, pick up the thing from there and insert it in your code and your web pages are ready within minutes. So the software industry is moving towards the custom built components. Properties, the next point is what are the properties of a good software? Whenever you are building a software you can characterize it as a good software based on some properties. So first property is operational. This tells us how software well works in operations. That is whatever the software was designed for, whether it is providing that operation or not is defined by the property of operation. Second one is transitional. Transitional means now in case of uh, software industry, we are having number of platforms like we have Windows, we have Apple, we have iOS, we have number of platforms. So if you are developing a software, you have to check that whether it is transitional, that is whether you can move that software from one platform to another easily. And the third one is maintenance. Maintenance means what? That once you have developed the software, it will not remain as it is. As in how the change of requirement will come, you need to change the software. Hence, maintenance is one of the biggest part of software that once your software is ready, you have to maintain it continuously for every upcoming change. So these are what are the characteristics of software. So in this session, we have discussed about what do you mean by a software, the definition of it and the characteristics of a software. Thank you.